Good afternoon guys, I'm Mike and I'm back here with you here at the farm. Uh, listen, today we're going to go ahead and do uh, something that we haven't had a chance to really show you in depth. Uh, we're going to throw some detail in it and uh, it's not for the faint of hearts, but uh, if you've come here looking for some information, um, just trying to figure out how to do things, today we're going to go ahead and castrate some piglets. Um, so first off for me, um, I generally castrate around 20, uh, anywhere from 14 to 21 days old. Um, that's usually my sweet spot. Um, we've done it earlier. Um, I've done it later. We actually have cut some big ones too. Uh, they're not fun, but, but anyway, so that's generally what we try to do um, anywhere from 14 to 21 days. So um, I've got a group in here um, that is actually three weeks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, since we're right here, we're gonna cut this other group. Uh, they're two weeks old and uh <clears throat> let's get to it guys uh first just a couple things that that i'm gonna start with i've got a bucket of warm water and a cloth um we've got spray iodine and uh we have a surgical knife that we're going to be using and uh we'll get into some detail here as uh we put everything together all right guys so we got a bottle of spray iodine and then we've got a surgical knife and you guys see I use a hooked um, knife here. I just I like the hooks more than the straights. Um, you can use both, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and get uh get our first piglet here. Oh, somebody got him some water. <laughs> Okay, we're doing the uh, older group first. I'll just bring it right around here this way. Yeah. All right, so I got a wet rag. I'm just gonna wipe down, clean off the area. And then I like to spray a little iodine on the rag itself and then wipe down as well. This is just to get the area prepped. Sometimes when you do this, um, <clears throat> you're going to find that the pigs are going to poop as soon as you get him up here. <laughs> and uh, you're going to want to clean that away um, and get that up out of there so you keep it as clean as possible. I'll also, go ahead and even though these are brand new, open in a pack, I still spray these with iodine as well um, as far as my uh, cutter goes. And again, you're just going to want to, let me show you this guy here. Um, so basically, uh, you're going to want to make that incision. You want to kind of keep it low, but you don't want to be too low. So I usually start it around here, and, I, and I'll make that incision about an inch to an inch and a quarter. And uh, if you feel them more than anything, I haven't cut them at all. Um, this is why I use two people to do this. There's actually tools you can use when you're younger and stuff. But anyway, so we're going to cut it, and that's going to let the, the blood, you want the idea is to have the blood drain out. Um, you know, you don't want to cut real high and just have the incision, you know, way up here because um, what will happen is, is down here in this lower uh, pocket of a sack, he'll, uh, blood will collect down here and that becomes an issue for you. So, again, just go ahead, uh, make that incision, you know, uh, kind of further down so that that blood drains and you should be good. When you go to cut this, you're going to basically cut through a layer of skin and then you're gonna you're gonna find that there is a another like a film layer I'll call it I don't know what it actually really is membrane, um, and you're gonna cut through that and then you're gonna see where that ball comes out, um, and then what I do is once I have those incisions I'll cut both of them at the same time. Once you have those incisions done, you should be able to press that out, and then you'll go, you'll actually be able to pull uh, the testicle out of that cut, and you'll be able to go ahead and separate it. Um, the testicle is actually connected most of the time within some type of skin on both sides. So let's get at it. All right, so we're going to make our first cut. That other mother. Probably could have moved her. All right. Got him. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck on for me. 
Yeah. It's pooping again. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring them up. Quick. <clears throat> Alright guys, so again, this is, we've made these incisions. You guys see, um, there's another membrane, but I am actually to the testicle nail um, on both sides. Um, this one we may have to cut just a little bit more. You see how it's a little more fatty? Um, and sometimes that happens. So right now what I'm going to do is basically just push into here and I'm going to bring that testicle out and then we'll be able to um, go ahead and pull it and cut. Decision a little bigger. Alright, so he's going to he's going to cry, but you guys see I'm pushing that out. You guys see that? Basically just pulling that ball that testicle down and it's connected there a little bit. What you want to do is pull a little bit. Oops. Pull a little bit and I cut it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to push it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and push it out. You're going to pull that membrane on the one side. Pull a little bit. Cut. And then what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to spray iodine back into this and around the area hold him just there for one minute and that's it guys so everything is cut it's going um the incisions are made they're clean and uh and that's good so uh that's how we do it um i'm not going to do every one uh with you guys here just because we got uh, several to get done here um but either way you can go ahead and put him down ready um yeah we're done with that one um, either way guys there's a couple ways that I've been taught to do this over the years um, the first way honestly that I was ever taught was just to grab that testicle once you once you break that side and just pull it and it'll pull that whole entire um, that whole entire line with that out um, and I'll tell you I had actually used that method for some years all the way up until maybe what last year um, we had we had my first ever uh cuts were good incisions were perfect we pulled the testicle and for the first time and it, it actually pulled the entire intestines of the pig somehow i don't know was was caught on there um but it pulled the intestines out of the hole um it was a it was a first for me uh we lost that pig there was nothing that i could do for it i called um i called the vet right away but just just nothing we could do um, so I moved after speaking with a vet, um, I actually moved to doing it in this method where I'll pull that down, I'll pull the testicle down and I'll make an incision and we no longer rip those cords out of, out of the piglets. Um, we've had a, a lot of success out of this. This is how we've cut, um, over, I don't know, over 200 piglets, probably closer to 300 at this point. So, um, that's the way we do it guys. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave a comment there. And as always, guys, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.